Ovations. Thank you very much, uh, Excellency uh, Mr. Rishal Dr. Uh, his very gorgeous wife, Ms. Uh, Saira Akto, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's, a, it's my pleasure and honor to be here because uh, we are celebrating uh, 30 years of strong friendship between Uzbekistan and India. So it's obviously a celebratory moment for many reasons. One, we are all little beyond COVID-19. We are able to see each other physically, personally, meet each other. So cause for celebration. 30 years of India-Uzbekistan friendship and Navroz, a very happy warm Navroz uh, greetings to everyone present here. And uh, also the fact that a country with which we share a very, very deep relationship, as the ambassador mentioned in his address, that the relationship between the two countries is not just a few hundred years old or uh, 30 years old, but it goes back to Mauryan and pre-Mauryan times. So it's a few thousand year old friendship. And the rose being one celebration which is celebrated across uh, Northern India, Persia, Central Asia, is one festival with which we can track and trace our roots. It's just one of the symbols. Beyond this, all the structures, all the archaeological sites in Termez to Surkhan, Darya, etc. prove still deeper ties. And the period which probably uh, many in history do not remember. And thus goes the ties between Uzbekistan and India. We are basically one people. We are we are divided through uh, modern geography. And I call a few hundred years still modern from Indian perspective because we can track our history to a few thousand years. So it's, a, it's relatively a modern history. And what is most important that we are celebrating the friendship. We are also celebrating Azadi Kamrit Mahatsav. And during this period of Azadi Kamrit Mahatsav, we had our iconic week celebration in Tashkent and several other cities of Uzbekistan. I had the pleasure and the honor of sending a message across uh, uh, to our embassy, which had uh, several celebrations. In extension of that, our friends in India and uh, Uzbek friends in India are celebrating the day today, a mark of friendship, part of Azadi Kamrit Mahatsav and uh, 30 years of diplomatic relationship. On the diplomatic front, you'll be happy to know that uh, we are part of Shanghai Cooperation, SEO, and uh, SEO RATS presidency is with us. UNSC Council, where very vocal support is what we get from Uzbekistan. Uh, we hold the presidency right now, but uh, Human Rights Council presidency is with Uzbekistan. That's the kind of cooperation we seek from each other at multilateral forums. And bilateral front, whether it's education, it's vaccines, it's investments, it's archaeological sites, it's uh, uh, colleges, uh, co uh, dance, music, cultural cooperation. We work with each other very, very closely. And uh, thus, Tashkent and Dil Delhi live in each other's heart. And that's what friends are like. They live in each other's heart. So while uh, I off-quote this, that while people do talk about uh, G to G, B to B, we talk H to H. And uh, this is uh, not government to government or business to business. This is heart to heart, and that heart to heart relationship sets the momentum. Because I think whether it's life or it's diplomacy or it's international politics or local politics, everything is about heart to heart connections. Everything is about communication, and once the communication is 
flowing not from the mind but from the heart, you get better results. And that warmth I have personally witnessed on my visit to Tashkim uh, last year. And uh, I saw the warmth in the heart of common people, not just government and meeting the ministers and meeting the president, but it's, it's, it's usual, normal people on the road who probably don't know who you are, but the kind of warmth which has been exhibited by uh, common people uh, speaks volumes about how India is perceived in Uzbekistan. And to uh, put the matters in right perspective, I must admit that mostly the policy flows from the top. And the policy flowing from the top on our side, Prime Minister Mr. Modi visited Uzbekistan in 2015 and then in 16 again. And uh, the kind of relationship they struck uh, President Mirzaev and uh, Prime Minister Modi is for everyone to notice and regard. And uh, I remember meeting very warmly their Deputy Prime Minister and also the Foreign Minister, uh, extreme, and several other ministers, the Minister of Defense and uh, Sports and Culture. Uh, immediately, this was a human connect that you knew each other and you knew what you were talking about. You knew you have to stand with each other, no matter what. So I look forward to further cooperation. And uh, in the words of the ambassador here, uh, long live India-Uzbekistan friendship. Rebel. Thank you. Jai Thank you very much. Uh, we have small bucket to present to our chief guest, please.